Well, all right, y'all. Um, see if I can't bend down here with my knee. Um, this comes off in about, I don't know, a week. Probably be done with it in a few days, actually. Uh, legs strong enough that I'm able to support myself without the brace, really. Um, indoors and everything. Outdoors, it's still safe to wear it. And, uh, or safer to wear it just because of holes, uneven, you know, unstable ground. But at any rate, uh, contemplated doing this just an unedited video, and I might, starting from this point, and uh, just have these baits in the water, maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, I've got some worms in my ultralight rod, might do some ultralight fishing, but uh, it's early morning, only got about two hours, uh, then I got to get out of here. So we'll only bait up probably four or five times, and uh, hopefully we can land us a carp. And then I might do some, you know, bank fishing with some worms, but the bank's a mess. Um, after the, uh, the hurricane moved through last week, uh, Hurricane Helene, uh, the water, you know, rushing downstream through these creeks uh, out to the river, you know, has carried a lot of debris. So the bank here is just covered in sticks and there's different logs. It's way different than it was, you know, a month or so ago, the last time I fished this spot. And so it'd be a little bit difficult, but we might try to, you know, catch some bluegill or, you know, see what else is out there. I've caught some crappie, bluegill, uh, white bass, largemouth caught quite a few species here um just on worms and little jigs but um uh, i'm gonna sit back and you know just kind of enjoy the day and or the morning and then we'll uh hopefully hook into something well there goes an ambulance uh, that is the one thing about this spot is that it's not very peaceful in terms of you know uh i guess loudness it is very loud because we're only about 100 yards from the highway um, it's a good spot, great little park area, but it's close to the house. So that's why, you know, when I don't have a lot of time, this is one of the spots I prefer to go to. Um, and plus there's a little bit of shade cause there's a few trees, you know, pretty tall trees that over, you know, overshadow the bank and stuff. So stay out of the, the sun, stay out of the heat. It helps keep the camera school too, uh, in the warmer months, but we're finally heading into fall. So that's going to be less of an issue. Uh, once it cools down, those cameras, don't really overheat as much so i'll be thankful for that um trying to think what else there is let's see uh that's it it's uh it's october early october um just not really sure what these carp what their pattern and behavior is but the water's still pretty warm we still have some days in the 80s right now nights are getting cool in the 50s next week's in the 40s at night so water temps definitely going to be dropping uh I'm sure it's probably 78, 79 right now. And this weekend, it'll probably heat back up to about 81. And uh, I'm gonna go out on the boat and I'll confirm that. But uh, that is my thoughts right now, just judging on the weather that we've been having. But uh, let's uh, sit back and maybe we'll tell some stories and talk a little bit about what we're doing. And maybe we'll catch a fish. And hopefully this is a fishing video, I guess. if. If you're seeing it, then we caught something. If not, then we didn't catch anything. So, all right, I'm gonna stand up. Oof, that hurts my leg just a little bit. All right. I think I was watching uh, Outdoors with Tom. He's a 
really good got a really good channel for, for carp fishing oh we just got hit over here i better that was a good hit that was a carp for sure mm. better get back to this i was trying to cast and whew. fish are not as smart as people make them out to be that's something else i also agree with uh tom on his youtube channel i think he talked about it not long ago or in one of his videos maybe it was a long time ago i don't know forget when i watched it but he talked about fish intelligence like yes i think fish you know are not they're not the dumbest creatures but they're not super intelligent they're not learning you know oh this is a method feeder we should you know we should leave this area because we're about to get our lip you know ripped off i think it's more just they're feeding you know they're animals they like to feed that is what they do that is what they know to eat reel them back in I need a fish today, come on. Yeah, that's good. This one's got a little bit more water in it at the bottom. I probably should have mixed it up in the bag. A little better. We're gonna go pretty close to the same spot. There it is. That's a cart. Oh, that's a good one. God, he's way out there. Gonna take a minute. Well, this is not the new curse gear, I can tell you that. That's exciting. God, he was about 50 yards out there. I mean, he took it from about 40 yards and went probably. Shoot, that's probably 70, 80 yards out there. He's finally coming to the bank. I'm gonna walk down there a little bit. Try to coax him in this way. Straight to the bank. And it's cramping my forearms on fire too. All right, I'm trying to wear him down. Still haven't got a good glimpse of him. Where is he at? All right, now he's finally coming over here. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. This way, buddy. Come on. Nope, out of that. I don't want you in my other line. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, he's actually not that big. Oh, not big at all. I mean, somewhere maybe eight, eight pound. Eh, could be pushing 10. Got him. Oh, that was fun. All right, Whew. bring him around here. Let's take a glimpse, get him on the mat. Huh? 
He's definitely 10. That's a 10 pounder for sure. Let me get my pliers that I don't have. So we're gonna pop this by hand. Luckily you're hooked just right, right in the corner of the mouth. Got it out. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's get this off of you. You're a pretty fish. You're big. You're bigger than I thought. You're definitely over 10. You might be 12 pound, actually. That's a big old fish. Oh, you slippery thing. Come here. You done slammed my hands up. Yeah. Nope, come here. I got you. I'll let you back in there if you quit for a minute. I'll give you a second to chill. Get my hand right. Yeah, that's a big old fish. Pretty colors. Not missing hardly one scale I see on this side. Looks good though. Big old tail, look at that tail. Gosh, that tail is just so powerful. He's big shoulders. He's he's over 10. He's somewhere around at least maybe 12 pound. Feels good. Give him a kiss. All right, let's get you back in there, dude. Nope, don't jump. Come on. Quit. Quit. You're making me drop you. Quit. All right. Off he goes. I'd also like to go to Del Hollow Lake and carp fish because I I've been there, did catch a single thing. It didn't really carp fish, maybe like 30 minutes, and uh, nothing. But supposedly they have some real massive trophy size carp in that lake. There it is. Come on. Oh, we're in that branch, ain't we? Did he get off? Nope, there he is. I'm gonna give him a little play. Cause there's logs and rocks and everything. Come on, baby. I can feel him a little bit. I don't wanna break it. If he's big, this is only 10 or 12 pound line. If he's got any size to him, he could snap it. So I'm gonna take my time. Let him wear out. Cause he's a, he's a pretty good size from what I can see. From here, I mean, he's creating a big old swirl. Look at that! Look at that water. Gosh, well, I'm just keeping tension on him right now. I don't. He's not near enough. Tired. He's not tired enough to force in. Just keeping him tight. Keeping this rod up. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I'm gonna try to coax him back and keep him away from crossing lines here, though. Get out from that log right there. I don't want that. Still ain't seeing him real good. Still pulling drag, stirring up mud, all kinds of mud gets stirred up by him. Must be a decent size one. He ain't no four pounder, that's for sure. We've got logs and everything that we're messing with over here. I don't like it at all, rocks and logs. I keep feeling the line get dragged across stuff and it's popping. I've barely seen him. Another 10 pounder, good size. Come on. You had enough running, come on, buddy. Good, good little fish. Well, he ain't really little, but good fish. Good fish, good fish. Come on. Away from that branch. Come on. Get you over here and get you in the net. Yeah. Close to 10. If he ain't 10. Get you away from those logs, dude. Come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's a big branch. You ain't got time for that. 
I don't horse them very often, but if they get near some type of structure, I will, I'll put the, tighten the drag and I'd rather risk him popping off with a fight versus me getting snagged on a ranch or something stupid like that. I mean, he's still pulling drag and I've got it pretty tight on this rod or this reel right now. He might be a little bit bigger than the last one. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. You got some size on you. Ah, ran out right as soon as I got you in the net. think right now do you still got that fight in it tighten it just a click or two Whew. this has been a heck of a fight to get this guy in he's bigger than 10 he's not a PB but he is an angry little fish Angry, angry, angry. All right, come on. You're already there. Don't roll out. You did. You got him that time. Whew. All right. He's bigger than, bigger than the last. Oh my goodness. That net sucks. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna have to tell that company, Atlas, that's an expensive carp net and it sucks. Whew. All right, he's actually huge. Oh, wow. He might be every bit of 18. He might be close to PB level. Actually, that is much bigger than the last one. Much bigger. You barely hooked in the mouth. Pop yeah. Get out of here, come on. Oh, I got a bug on my leg. Oh, you turd. Come here, I'm trying to unhook you. <clears throat> trying to keep you keep you healthy and calm, but you ain't cooperating too good. Get that hook out. Let me have it. There we go. Alright. Little turd. You had to make that more difficult than it needed to be. You really did. All right. You're every bit of 9, 18, 20, 29, 30 inches. Every, every bit of 30 inches you are. Give him a little bit of pressure there. Oh, God. This is he's huge. Stop, boy. Can't even get you to chill out. Yeah, okay, this actually might be close to 20. That is that is a big, big, big old carp. I mean, I can't even look at that thing. It's huge, huge. Can't even get my hand around him to hold his back, back tail. Quit. 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 Chill out. Give you another second to calm down. I'm gonna get you back in there, buddy. I promise. Too pretty. Gosh. All right. Well, there he is. That's a big old carp right there. He's pushing. He's pushing 20. I mean, he's got to be close to my PB 18. Give him a kiss. All right. Look at that. How wide he is. Gosh. Look at this guy. So we can't get a picture out of this. Look at that thing. Monster. Alright. Now you're tired. Let's get you back because I gotta go. Get you back in there. 
wasn't trying to get my shoes wet, but I did. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. That was awesome, awesome. Whew. All right, well, that was awesome. Two hours, two fish, both over 10. One had to be probably 12. That last one was probably pushing 20, 18, 17, 18 pounds. He was a big old fish, over 30 inches long, so thought I heard something. At any rate, um, I'm going to cut this up into two different videos. I'm going to do the long video, do an unedited just for fun. Um, I'll edit out the pee breaks, like I said. And then I'm going to do a short video, edit it, you know, do some good editing and whatnot, videography stuff to it. So, <sighs> Whew, my heart's still kind of beating from that last one. So, anyway, that was fun. Um, appreciate you guys watching and see you down in the next one. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was literally walking over to this one right as soon as I just turned that off. And it got hit. Oh, I done broke the net down and everything. Well, we hit them in all three spots today. We got one in the center out there, about 50 yards. We got one, it's a pretty decent one, I think. May not be as big as the other ones. Got some fight in him. He's carp or something, guys. If you ain't, if you're not carp fishing or never caught one, you're cheating yourself as far as fresh water goes. These are not trash fish at all. I don't know what your definition of trash fish is. I don't think there's anything as such as a trash fish. They all serve a purpose and they're all beautiful to me, but I guess if your definition of trash fish is one you don't eat, well, that would mean bass or trash fish for Americans because most people aren't eating largemouth bass. It's a little guy, it looks like. I can't, I didn't really get a good, good glimpse, but like I was saying, these fish are not trash to me. They're beautiful, strong, strongest freshwater fish I've ever fought. Caught a big 45 pound blue cat and it wasn't nearly as fun as this is. Now maybe a hundred, 120 pound blue would be fun, but these carp are just something. I'm on. I don't even think I'm gonna give him a lot of camera time. I gotta go. I was trying to get out of here. And he's a little smaller than other ones. He's probably somewhere around eight pound. I mean, he might be bigger if I can get a good glimpse, but dang, he won't quit thrashing around. Nah, he's one of the smaller ones. Five pound, maybe. Just feisty, man, they are so feisty. These small ones. Come on. I'm not giving him any play now. I'm just going to get down here. I'm going to unhook him and let him go. You don't even need camera time. Come on. We ain't got time for it. I got to go. Little guy. I was literally trying to get out of here, and then you had to hit it. Chill out. I'm going to get you out. All right. Pop you free. Because I got to go, man. You're going to make me late. <clears throat> you over a little bit. Can't get it from that side. Which way is that hook going in? Oh, there it is. Okay. I got you. Alright, buddy. You're a good five pounder. Get you back in there, though. I gotta go. Appreciate the fight. Well, what are you doing? Go that way. I gave you a good toss. There he goes. All right, he's tired now. All right. Okay. Whew. Well, let's uh, let's do that again. Well, that was a surprise. I already packed up and a good sized carp, five pounder, hit hard and started peeling some drag. So. 
that was fun but anyways i gotta get out of here guys so i do appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you on the next one thanks